So as you may know, the Grounded Public Test is here. We got ourselves to make it and break it update, and I want to break it. Because in my full-on armory, you might notice that some weapons have different things now. And I intend to test all of them out now. Oh boy, six new weapons of murder. This should be fun. What is going on? I'm like stuck on my stem floor. Can you like fall in this tiny gap? One of the new changes is this fluffy dandelion tuft now. Doesn't just make it where you glide for longer. You can glide forever. There's literally no limit. I can just safely go to the ground, which means keeping it in my high bar is my new go-to and I never need to carry a tuft again. All right, first up, Salt Morningstar. Because I've gotten it to level six, it unlocked its new ability where on my combo finisher, I should bleed targets. Oh, and what do you know? Target acquired. Get punched. Okay, he's dazed and bleeding. This is just... Oh, that's insanely strong. This is only level six, man. Not to mention combining that with my current armor set. <laughs> I don't have my dagger, but I'm still doing bleed and poison. Thank you, Widow Gear. Let me go test this out against a certain ginormous beetle. Hi, buddy. Dodged. Come on, bring it. Go ahead and charge. Parried, idiot. Never mind, I missed. Oh, all right, my fault. Well, fight's on. Let's see. Charge up my heavy. Get the guaranteed stun. And it's, yeah, it's 100% bleed chance every time I finish my combo modifier. So I can just let him hang out. Yep. A lot of damage. Quit throwing rocks at me. You know what? Hey, have something get thrown at you. Yeah, not nice, is it? Now you're dead. Safe to say, I need to start considering using this Morning Star more. Next up, I want to test out this Prod Smacker. They say they upped its damage, and it's pretty much maxed. So I'm curious if this will be a good replacement for the Broodmother Club. Hey, buddy, do you mind just... Hmm, okay, gonna need to find something with a little bit more health. Does this still do a major explosion whenever I heavy attack? Yeah. Guys, I wouldn't do this if I were you. No, I'd, I'd seriously rethink it. Just any time you wanna... Well, I tried to tell you. <laughs> this is just so effective. Oh yeah, not to mention two-handed weapons now just also swing faster in general. That's murdered. All right, buddy, let's test this out. Come on. That was a good three bars on you. My stamina starts lacking real, real bad, but wow, this is huge chunking damage right now. Just instantly murders this guy, basically. It helps that there was a little combat rework, and now it's 100, 100, 125 instead of 50, 100. Safe to say, I think the Prod Smacker not only is now a viable weapon, but was my nickname in high school, so I've always had a soft spot for it. All right, Mint Mace is next. This one's supposed to have an AoE burst on its combo finisher now. Okay, I just wasn't ready for that. How big of an AoE are we talking? Oh, that's efficient and it also just slows that ladybug well ladybird this also just decimates fireworker ants and it's oh okay hello buddy come on go ahead and nope. bring it you're parried this not as much damage as the prod smacker however it is still chunking aoe explosions kind of nice too just for hitting other things probably decimates the stupid infected bugs oh hello buddy how are you i like the roly polies i don't like this guy yep just look at the flowers Okay, you're dead. Go ahead. Venom? Nothing? That's the there it is. I was wondering why that took so long. I'd actually like to test this out on an infected wolf spider. I think I know where one is. Oh, look, a little pumpkin jack o lantern thing, too. All right, going down. Hit this ground. Oh, there's also something new I need to do in here. You can peep Trudy now. I immediately get the gold koi fish card. I'm immediately regretting jumping in. I don't want to be here. There we go. Look at how shiny. Oh, my name's Trudy. Oh, I killed Cage for jumping in the water. I hate him. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, stupid fish. I what does this water boatman do? Oh, he's got a little bubble. I've never seen that happen before. That's cool. All right, no, I'll see you later, buddy. Have fun. All right, where is he? Where's my lady? My lady? Where is this stupid infected wolf spider? I will murder death mayhem his life away. And my lady? There's so many ladybugs around. Is there a convention I didn't know about? Oh, you're expecting me, huh? All right, three, two, one, start. That's a lot of your bars. That's very many of your bars that you... Mmm, you're pathetic. And it's... Okay, I didn't even see the mine. Well, now there's just a whole new world ready to me with the Min Mace. I am very curious about this Pinchwhacker, though. Also my nickname in high school. <laughs> and, uh, oh, my lady. This thing I got to level 8, it's pretty strong, but now on every combo finisher, it should do its little lightning thing. I just need to find something stronger than aphids. Yeah, you'll work. Hi, right, buddy. I want to see my electric shock. That did some damage. It's not really a lot, though. I mean, that gets the stun off, but I still think going some other weapon would kill this guy much quicker. I mean, he's dead. And it's nice that I'm doing the electric shock, but I just still feel robbed, I think, is my word I'm wanting. Also, I've never gotten this rotten larva blade. I'm not getting it now. Bruh. Let's try leading with a charge attack. 
nothing. You really just do need to hit this full on third hit or else. Not getting the guaranteed stun is so rough too. I mean, I guess if I'm fighting a zombie horde, that AOE damage is gonna be nice, but otherwise, I'll just use my dagger. I kill everything much faster that way. And get this guy out of here. And hello, my old love. This actually has a few different things. Let me wake this guy up to test him. He's now got an increased parry window, so it's even easier to just block all of these, like so. But now, okay, well, I didn't mean to three shot him. But look, new animation. Did you just walk through the wall? Yeah, you had to be murdered for that. Sorry, buddy. No abominations allowed. And I, I just I keep one shotting everything. It's so strong. And right, I guess when I go find a new target, I can show I've got this eighth kid thing now. Me and aphids are friends because I'm wearing two dead ones on my feet. No one knows, my lady. Kind of extremely messed up when you think about it, but still. Going up. No second aphid yet. Hang on. I think I just developed a crush on the peach fuzz lady. Anyways, continuing on with the normal video now. So I just parried this mosquito pretty hard and I got opportunistic parry. Now my next attack has a damage boost, which seems to well, murder things efficiently. Give me you. I'd like to find, uh, you'll work. Get my little opportunistic parry thing. I think I just need to hit a parry in my next window now. Come on, do a thing. There it is. So now we'll just do the new heavy charged up attack and that did a decent amount. It's absolutely chunks HP. Not to mention how extremely easy it is now to parry with this thing thanks to perfect parry and the increased window. Look, I'll shut my eyes. See, come on, come on. You can stop that. Oh, I messed that one up really. Here, watch your eyeballs. So how much does my usual three hit do? That's like nine bars. It's at least like two and a half. So yeah, definitely a much welcomed upgrade. And finally carry my beloved Coltana around again and look so cool. Why is there a larva there? Gross. Wait, does this burn me? No? Is this not the same stuff that's in the sandbox? I'm sizzling now, but it's because I missed one parry on the larvas. No, he backstabbed me. Why are you so good at combat? Die. Didn't even know those guys could be there. And now the thing I'm probably most curious about is this sour battle axe. I liked the concept of this thing. The only issue was that it's slow. However, new grounded update made this not only faster, but on its combo finisher, it attacks faster now. Look at that. Isn't that just disastrous? All you gotta do is a little three hit combo and then your next three are very fast. And then your next three is very fast. And then even your next three is very fast. Rinse and repeat until something is dead. <laughs> What do I get this guy at level seven? It could be maxed. It could literally do as much damage as the prod smacker, but just attack three times as fast. Not to mention if you put on barbarian in the like buff lungs, you could really get things going. Come here, none of this, everyone dies. Actually, wait, this isn't a club, it's Chopper. Not the One Piece character, the mutation. You get it, you understand. And there's no one better to truly test this out on than a single mother with a bunch of kids. Bruh. Notice how she's weak to sour now. Are the Widowlings weak to, no, they're still not weak to sour, they're weak to spicy. How's that make sense? All right, Miss Widow, come here. You have two new attacks now. That's one of them. Okay, yeah, you shoot a little web out and a little baby spider appears and she ate it. Okay, she's healing and now attacks faster. Okay, didn't think I was gonna see the two new moves immediately, but that's fine. Let's just, oh my gosh. Did you see the amount of damage this thing just did to her? <laughs> hey, you're pathetic. You're pathetic and you amount to nothing. There's no way. This thing's busted. It's the best weapon in the game now. Goodbye, Mr. Tick. Is there armor that makes this better? Does it even need to be made better? Is this not already strong enough? So many thoughts are racing through my mind. Weirdly enough, three of them are about Uncle Ben's Minute Ready Rice. Huh? It's just so convenient and delicious. But man, I love this new public death. All right, well, let's just put all of these things back for right now. Because I've got a new love I want to go play with. I'm going to go ahead and put on the full assassin piece. I get this critical chain thing. The more crits I get, the faster it goes. Plus, there's already a base crit chance in the game now. Thank you, public test. Because I want to go test some things out. And by some things, I mean one thing. And it's this sour battle axe in the head of a mantis. Does Apex Predator work with my battle axe too? Technically a boss weapon, isn't it? The sad answer is probably not. Ah, good old arena. Hello. Let's just put on yoked blows for more damage. And we'll just start the fight as normal. Hey, it's coming down. I see you up there. Yep. Hello, my dear. That's... Well, I already hit one critical hit on her. I just hit another, and I just got my third combo finisher, so... And, oh, cool, I got the stun. That's just even more time to lash out now. Look at just so much damage. Nope. Try and hit the stun on it. Dang it, it didn't work. That's fine. Just keep going for the hits. Got one parry. Got the triple. Can I dodge this stupid attack? No? Okay. Don't worry. You'll be dead soon, Mantis. The moment I hit a crit, there it is. Yep, it's go time. Okay, <laughs> the best weapon in the game now. <laughs> oh, well, want 
the ground its hardest boss is defeated in 19 seconds. Not to mention, I didn't even drink any other potions aside from my healing one. You think I can kill the IFB with this? Maybe that's a job for next time. For now, I need to duplicate a bunch of mighty globs so I can upgrade this thing to level 9. It's still not strong enough. 